Hey everyone, it's Carrie over at DoubleClick. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I am doing a review for Tamu. I was contacted to review some crafty items. Today I received my package. This is the first package and I received a second package. Let's go ahead and open these packages and see what's inside. Here we have a nice size plastic envelope sleeve with the goodies inside. Let's take a look. First package is this desk organizer. Okay, here we go. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, it appears to be broken. Here is the plastic piece. I will contact them about sending me a replacement. Besides that, it's plastic. I do like the color. It's kind of a cream with this light pink. It has a drawer that slides out. It has the slots on top. Let's get some measurements here. It measures about eight inches by four inches by about four and a half inches. It's a nice size for an organizer. This is the first item and it will be linked down below. I have many Timu hauls on my channel. All of those other hauls are hauls for items that I have purchased. The reviews that I do on products that were given to me by Timu will be given the same reviews that I have given all of my other Timu haul orders. Here we have a corner rounder. Here it is. And this rounds the corners of papers. Here I have a couple of little scrap pieces of paper. Let's take a look. And if you can see, all it does is take that little edge and rounds it. Works good. It's a small one. There are ones that are really deep, but this is a nice size where it just takes off that little edge. Works good, and you can do it in my hand, where sometimes you have to put them on the ground and press down. Corner rounder, works good. This also will be linked down below. Here we have a pencil case. It's this really beautiful pink color. It says, be young, be unique, special, you are one in a million. I really like this color. It's super soft. It has a pocket on the outside. Check out the zipper situation. It has a zipper on the inside with a net pocket. This looks like some kind of design marking on the inside. The zipper is nice and durable. Here's a pouch to hold pens and maybe paintbrushes. And then we have a deeper pocket on the inside. If you unzip the bottom, that allows the zipper to expand deeper. Okay, that's cute. I do a lot of traveling and this is definitely something I would fit in my to go bag for my crafts, but it could also be used for beauty products. Let's get some measurements. This is coming in at nine inches by four and a quarter. With the bottom at full expansion, it's almost three inches. The bottom zipped, it's coming in at just about one and a half. This is really nice quality. I like this a lot. This is definitely something that I will be using.
here we have a diamond dot painting. Let's take a look. Quality. This is some really beautiful flowers. Let's see. Stickiness. Oh, very sticky. Nice and sticky there. It comes with the tray and the utensil tools. Comes with the dots. Some really nice colors. Let's get some measurements for it. It's about 13 by nine and a half. Nice size. Has the full table, clear lettering. That's great. Fine line color pens. There's 24. Let's take a look. Kind of a pen snob. So let's see how these come out. Some really nice colors there. Very happy with these. As you can see, they didn't bleed, they didn't blot. They look really nice, really fine tip. Very happy with these, great quality. Next we have this paper organizer. Let's see. It has these beautiful color dividers and that measures about 20 inches if you do the full expansion on it. This expandable paper organizer measures about 13 inches wide by about eight and a half inches high. It will fit a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock inside the file. However, it will stick up since it is only eight and a half inches high. This is a great organizer for sorting your scrapbooking papers by color and could easily house your eight and a half by 11 cardstock papers. Here we have replacements for the Cricut mat. Let's take a look at these. You get three of them, purple, a blue, and a green. I just noticed the mats come in three different grip varieties. We have the light grip, the standard grip, and the strong grip. We are going to go ahead and test the standard right now. Let's check the stickiness. Okay, they're sticky, but they're not too sticky where paper will not come off. I'm just going to grab my Cricut mat and make sure that the size is identical. It's the exact same size as my Cricut mat. And I will go ahead and feed this through my machine and make sure that it will cut. We just made a cut on the standard grip and let's take a look okay comes off nice and easy here's the strawberry with all the dots comes off nice and easy and the topper comes off perfect matte is nice and sticky but it does not rip the paper 
I would say that this is just as good as the original Cricut mat. And I am excited to try the light grip as well as the strong, depending on the materials that I use for my crafting. And here we have our last item, and this is a wax melting kit. This kit comes with a variety of wax melts. It comes in a really nice organized case, beautiful colors. Very happy with those. Case measures in at just about seven inches by five inches and it's a thin case so it will easily store. And with this kit, it came with some tea light candles. You will need a pot to melt these wax melts. And then it also comes with the wax melting spoon. Is my Timu review. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will have a code linked above here and all the links to the product link down below. I also have a 30% off for first time users. Please feel free to go back to all my other Timu videos and look at all the other items that I have reviewed. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and have a great day.